Hi everybody, my name is David. I'm a co-play friend here from the Genesis group. Just want to give you guys a market update. Remember last video, I said I expect the Bitcoin to have end with a red candle on the weekly. And we did. We just got that red candle right there. Uh, <clears throat> however, it actually is kind of Right now, Bitcoin kind of does look strong. Yeah, on the monthly, it looks strong. Yeah, so Bitcoin on the monthly does look good. It does look good. Uh, long term, technically, outpowers sh shorter time frames. However, it doesn't dictate the shorter time frames. In other words, like you could have a down day even though the monthly um, indicators look good. And you had a good monthly indicator, but I still, by looking at this, I was like, no, we'll probably have a red week. Um, yeah, so... The only thing I can say is, uh, for me, if Bitcoin pumps up more, it's giving me more opportunities to sell. Now, remember, I'm not your financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing or what I'm thinking. I give you all reasons why, okay? And what this does, what it shows on the daily is actually it shows strength. For Bitcoin, it does show some strength. The only thing I would have to say is, I did hear that uh, Binance, which I use, scary. Uh, they, I think, starting today, they're gonna stop like US D transfers. So if you're trying to take, you know, US dollar, I don't know. If you're trying to make transfers from Binance to your bank account. And I think if you're outside the U.S., you won't be able to do that anymore. What does scare me is I think that's kind of like how FTX started out at first, too. And then you saw what happened to FTX. So that does scare me. Because if Binance go to, goes down, has a problem like FTX... Yeah, is I expect things to be worse, fall more than what you know, whatever FTX did to the market. I imagine Binance would do worse. So that's why I'm very cautious. Uh, definitely for me personally, this is not a buying opportunity. If it goes up to me, it'll give me more selling sell opportunities. Um, and. For me, I'll be extra cautious to want to even buy anything. If anything, I feel more like I would want to sell to be on the safe side after hearing what's going on with Binance. That also being said, if I look at CoCoin, CoCoin looks very weak. Because if you look at CoCoin, you, you see how this looks on the daily. It just went nothing but sideways. But look at Ethereum. Had a nice run up. Shiv had a nice run up. Look at these coins. I don't even know what these coins are. Nice run up. Bitcoin. Nice run up. KuCoin. Nice run up. You have all these nice run ups. And then you see this bullcrap from CoCoin. So imagine how bad CoCoin would get smashed if Bitcoin goes back down to like 15,000. You know, 17,000. Sticks around at the 17,000 range. 16, 15,000. Whatever. It makes new lows. Man, it doesn't look good for CoCoin. And I'm just being honest. Because there's no run up. There's no run-up. So, 
right now I'm more cautious of CoCoin. Uh, I know around this time before I would have bought CoCoin, thinking CoCoin could have a nice little pump, which it has at times, and I just sell off ones in the you know in a pump, like towards the up higher middle, in my opinion, of the pump, which was on this candle here. But still, <laughs> I mean, it's just a, a disappointment in price action for CoCoin. So for me, I'm personally just staying away from it, especially right now with the news of Binance. So if I look at the risk to reward, it's not a, a big reward. The only thing that can help is CoCoin is a lagging coin, so the other like Bitcoin or the other top coins will fall first and CoCoin wouldn't fall as much and then later CoCoin will fall more uh, so there is that point but um, still to me just the risk to reward right now for anything is not really worth it I, I yeah I don't really see a whole lot of good going on right now. I just don't see it. So, I can see maybe Bitcoin could have another push up. But if there's some bad news, yeah, I think it's going to drop. Uh, but honestly, right now, it doesn't look too weak. It does, Bitcoin doesn't look weak. Um, because it had its it had a small pullback. Yeah, I'm going to cover myself with myself. <laughs> and what I mean by that is... You see this pullback that Bitcoin had? Well, that's all around this line here. So what it did is this area just... It was support and Bitcoin didn't break support. It went up on the support. Okay. And if you just look at it like this line here. This is you know the resistance area. Which Bitcoin went up. And got rejected on the resistance area. But it didn't fall on the support. Uh, you have a stronger candle here. To, than the red. I mean right now you had good. You found support there. And so that actually sh shows sign, I mean strength for Bitcoin. It, it does show strength for Bitcoin. So right now, me personally, I'm just, um, I'm really more worried about the Binance news and waiting to see what comes of that. Uh, I have some Binance stable coins, but I'm about to get rid of all of those for tether coins. Normally, I I, I honestly thought tether coins were more um, stable than Binance coins, but right now I'm a little bit worried about Binance. Yeah, so gotta see what happens. Gotta see what happens. I don't know. I hope nothing happens because I, I I like Binance. I like KuCoin. I like Binance. You know. But anyway, we'll see how everything plays out. So that's it. Right now, it is a wait. It's a wait and see if Bitcoin goes up more, especially past 25,000 and heading towards that 30,000 range. For me, it has great selling opportunities for me personally. Uh, I'm just hoping nothing bad comes out of Binance. Otherwise, you're going to see if, if something bad comes out, like Binance gets ends up like FTX. Um, man. If you if you like Bitcoin, it's gonna be a great oppor buying opportunity. <laughs> if you're holding Bitcoin, you're gonna be sad, right? And at least for me, I sold off on some positions on this run up. So I think right now I'm back over fifty percent on stable coins. But a good portion of those stable coins are Binance stable coins, so I gotta get rid of them, <laughs> change them into tether. All right, everyone, so that's what I'm doing, okay? Um, please take good care of yourself. Be spiritually, um, spiritually take good care of yourself. You know, get right with Jesus. Know Jesus, get right with God. Know Jesus, have a relationship. 
um, and you know be mentally unstable but you know if you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior get the Holy Spirit in you uh, you'll be you know, the Holy Spirit will help you and uh, be physically in shape too just my advice um, I'm not giving financial advice I'm giving you you know spiritual mental and physical advice <laughs> all right and um yeah i still think the economy will get worse before it gets better all right now there's this one thing i've been watching on youtube um and so you guys could cut oh yeah right here you see this withdrawals frozen binance right yeah so y'all kind of you can see what kind of channels i watch but here it says in the blink of an eye okay i watched all seven episodes of this but it's like people um all over the world for the past couple the years days. they've been getting you know i wasn't gonna forget you and dreams just... and visions of, of the rapture and i'm not one of those people saying the rapture is happening tomorrow um and i've you know i got a master's degree in in um, um, past, I got a master's, master's degree in pastoral, master's degree in um, divinity, okay, in pastoral studies. And things need to be worse than this before I worry about a rapture. But I do believe in it. Uh, but it's not bad enough yet. Um, but however, you never know. You never know what could happen in a couple years, handful of years, 10 years from now. Who knows? Um, a generation from now, you just, you never know. And I recommend watching this series. And it's because of that series, I, I'm talking more about Jesus. <laughs> so, yes. Um, God bless all of you in Jesus Christ's name. And, yeah.